Want to know how to make your wrapping paper stretch even farther this holiday season? I have so many awesome ideas to share with you today. So grab out your wrapping paper from your stash or head to Dollar Tree. They have lots of great options and they're only $1.25 a roll. I am so excited to have you here today. My name is Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. Let's dive into our first project. We are gonna dress up and decorate up a mason jar with the help of some wrapping paper. You're gonna need a round something or another. I'm using a metal bowl from Dollar Tree that measures about six and a half inches in diameter. This is for a regular sized mason jar lid. So if you're gonna do a wide mouth, you're gonna need a larger sized circle. Grab out your mason jar, fill it with your goodies, put your circle right on top of the lid and start pressing it down around the edges. So you're just gonna kind of gather some of the excess, pinch it together and then make a crease and fold it to the side. Work your way all the way around the top of the mason jar. If you love all things Christmas and you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button become one of our Christmas crew members here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. There are so many great ideas still yet to come this holiday season. Now to make this wrapping paper stay on the top, we're going to grab some Baker's twine here. I'm using a green and white version just to kind of contrast against the red, but you can also use any kind of ribbon or string that you have on hand. Wrap it around a couple times, tie a knot, and then tie a bow to dress it up. This is such an easy and quick way to dress up a mason jar. I love mason jars all year long, but especially at Christmas time, there's so many gifts you can give in a jar. So many so that I actually made a video full of 25 ideas of gifts in a jar. If you wanna check that out, I will link it at the end of this video and down in the description box below. Great video to head over and check out after this one. If you liked the mason jar idea, you're going to love this one. You're going to need to cut a strip of wrapping paper five inches wide by 30 inches long and fold it in half and make a crease. Then come in with some type of adhesive. I really love this tape runner, especially for paper crafts as it doesn't wrinkle your paper. I will link this along with all the supplies I'm using today down in the description box below to make it easier for you to find if you want to use any of these tools and products too. We're refolding that strip in half and then we're going to fold the bottom up about halfway and then adding some more adhesive onto the sides, flipping it back up and making a pouch and pocket in the front. What are we creating? We're making a little silverware holder. So inexpensive to create. I also used a paper trimmer to trim off the sides to clean the edges up. And then it's up to you what you wanna do here and embellish or leave it plain. I love adding embellishments. It's so fun. So this is some pom-pom garland from Dollar Tree. I used some tacky glue to attach it onto the front fold over the edges, grab some foam mounting tape from Dollar Tree, and we're gonna cut some of that down into smaller strips and attach it onto these cute little candy canes I got from Hobby Lobby. Instead of just gluing it on straight on there, I thought making it raised and having sort of a 3D effect would make it pop a little bit more. So just attach that right onto the front, add your silverware in there, and you have something that you can use year after year if you want, or if you don't, you can toss it easy too and it also will coordinate with all your pretty gifts that you'll probably wrap with the same wrapping paper too. You can also make stickers out of your wrapping paper. I love this. I love coordinating everything. And so doing this is a great way to do that. I'm using one of these scalloped circle punches, which I'll link down below for you. They come in different sizes. This is the one and a half inch size and you'll just randomly punch your wrapping paper out or you can strategically place your punch over prints in your paper like the snowflakes on this green wrapping paper, just centering it with the hole punch and then it's good to go. So now how do we create these or turn these into stickers? Well, I'm using this really cool contraption. It's called a Xyron sticker maker. This is really, really affordable. I'll link it down in the description box below for you. You just kind of place whatever shape you want on the front and then there's a little tab on the back that you'll start pulling out. Once you don't see your shapes on the other side, then you can go ahead and feed more in to make a long strip of stickers if you want. And then once you have though, once you're done making your stickers, you'll just pull it all the way out. And then there's little teeth on the back. So you'll just pull up on the paper. It'll cut it out add some pressure on the top here. And there's also a clear plastic liner that you will peel off. 
And then we have literally just made stickers. It's so cool. You can use these in so many different ways. I'm going to add them onto the backs of some envelopes, which are perfect for Christmas cards this time of year. You could use them in your card making, your scrapbooking, um, any kind of kids craft. This would be great for. It just really adds a fun pop and it's just fun to kind of create your own stickers. Great year round, but obviously love it for Christmas time. Now, let me know down in the comments below, do you still send out Christmas cards through the mail? I would love to know. I definitely still do. I like having those Christmas cards to look back on year after year for memories. Want to know the cheapest gift bags ever? Paper lunch sacks. And you can get these from Dollar Tree. They are pennies. You get a pack of 50 of them. And of course, we want to dress these up so they look nice for Christmas time. So we're going to take, our, take out our wrapping paper and we're going to trim down a rectangle. Um, just about the size and width of our bag and we're also going to fold down the top of our bag here before we actually fill our bag up to dress this up a little bit more we're going to fold our piece of wrapping paper that we cut out and cut the bottom at an angle so we have a point in the front just to make it a little bit more decorative take some adhesive run it along the back side of your wrapping paper and then attach it onto the top of your bag press it down so it gets all good and stuck on there and then you can use a clothespin at the top to close it up now of course you're going to want to put your gift in your bag first, fold over the top, and then you can add that clothespin. You can also add some, punch some holes in the front of this and run some ribbon through it too. That'll give you a different look. Or you can do the clothespins or you can just tape the back closed if you want, if you really want to keep it simple. Such an easy way to get custom gift bags for such a cheap price. You can also make your own holiday gift bows for pennies by using wrapping paper. So you're going to need to cut another strip two inches by 30 inches long. We're going to fold that in half and add some adhesive onto just half of it because we're going to fold this in half and that is going to make this all stick together. Don't worry about the edges not lining up. We're gonna be cutting those off anyway, so you don't have to be super precise here. We're not gonna take this strip and fold it in half again. We're gonna rotate it to make sure the top has the opening and the bottom has the fold. Now you're gonna take your scissors and cut what I feel like is a vase shape. So you're gonna start at the bottom of the fold, kind of round it up towards the top and then cut out through a diagonal up to the corner. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're gonna do it again. Start at the bottom, cut a round shape out until you get towards the top, and then we are gonna cut in and then cut out towards the corner at an angle. So we have this shape when we open it up. Now take your scissors and we are going to make two little cuts into those kind of indented uh, parts of our bow same side just flip it over and cut another slit in there and then we're going to take those cuts that we just made and we're going to intersect them at the top so now we need to add some adhesive in there we're going to take that tape runner again and add some to the bottom inside of the circle take the top of the circle and just push it down into that adhesive and as you can see that creates two loops on each side and our tails underneath so now that you've seen it once, I feel like it's super helpful to see it again, just sped up. So that way you can see this, how it really comes together. The more you do this, the easier it gets and the more quickly you can make a ton of these and they turn out super cute. You can leave them plain like this or you can embellish them. I added some buttons to these in the center or you could add some ribbon around there to kind of finish off the middle if you wanted to. Just glue it right onto the top of a present or a gift bag and you've created your own holiday gift bow. Let's make a cute Santa or gnome, depending on how you look at it. We're gonna take a piece of copy paper here, fold this corner up to the edge so that it meets and it's flat and we're gonna cut the excess off the top and that's gonna create a perfect square for us. Open it up, take one of the side corners, roll it to the middle center line, make a crease down and you're gonna repeat that on the other side as well. Now grab the top point and we are going to fold it all the way down to the bottom of the bottom point and make a crease. 
Now we're gonna just take and flip this so that the points are at the top and we have it on the complete opposite side. Now take that front corner and bend it down to the bottom in the center line and make a crease and then fold that top line over just a little bit and then we are going to fold the side points down along the side edge to create a triangle. And here is our Santa Claus slash gnome. Of course, we want to dress this up with some wrapping paper. So I'm going to use it as a decorative element here. We're going to cut a triangle for his hat and then use some adhesive here to apply that on there. We're then gonna open up the bottom, pull those points out, and then trace around the bottom and cut that out. That's gonna add a decorative, decorative element for the Santa's or Gnome's clothing, adding some adhesive here as well, placing that on top and pushing that down. And then we're also gonna flip this over to the back side and put those points down with some adhesive so it stays. Now, where it is left white, we're gonna add a nose underneath that little flap, and then taking some gray, we're gonna add some little swooshes there to create some hair for his beard. Sky is the limit with how you wanna decorate these using different types of wrapping paper and little features for his face. This is such a cute way to make your own little ornaments, or they'd be perfect for gift tags too. Hang them on your gift packages or your gift bags. Just a cute, fun little pop of happiness. Next, we're gonna make a huge piece of Christmas art. Of course, you're gonna need your wrapping paper and you're also gonna need a piece of white foam board from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna cut our wrapping paper down to the same size as the foam board, which is 20 inches by 30 inches. And then we're gonna use some creativity here. We're gonna tape this foam board onto the wall with some painter's tape and then tape your, your wrapping paper on top of that. Um, backwards though, so you want the white side facing out. Then we are going to go to the computer. I wanted to do a deer head silhouette, so I just Googled that, found a design that I liked, put it into my editing software, turned it black, printed it out on some regular copy paper, and we're gonna blow this up so it's a bigger size. And to do that, we're gonna take it back to our room, turn the lights off, and we are gonna use a projector to emanate this image in a larger size onto our wrapping paper. Now, if you don't have a projector or don't wanna purchase one, you can, of course, just freehand your own design and silhouette. It's just really, really a fun uh, crafting tool to have if you don't have one already. I love mine. And what I did is just made it fit on the wrapping paper, came in with a pencil and traced out the shadow onto the wrapping paper. Then of course, once you get it all traced on there, you just take some regular scissors and cut out along those lines. Next, we're gonna take some regular stick glue here and use that as an adhesive to apply our wrapping paper onto the foam board. To give this a finished look, I grabbed some black foam board from Dollar Tree and we're gonna use that to create a frame. So I just measured in about two inches all the way around. You can make your frame as wide or as thick as you want and then come in with an X-Acto knife and cut the center rectangle out of the foam board. Our cut edges are still pretty rough looking, so we're gonna come in with some black chalk paint here and go around all the white inside and outside edges. And then I also took it one step further and I also made some mitered corners to make it look a little kind of more realistic and then just hit the foam board a little bit here and there with the paint to make it look more rustic. Use some adhesive to apply your foam board frame onto your design. And it also helps to add something heavy onto the corners around the edges until that glue sets up. This is such a great way to make affordable art that is larger for your home. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can frame photos like this by printing posters. And if you wanna take it one step further, you can even use wood one by twos and give this a really beautiful finished look. But I really like this as it's very affordable and easy for anyone to make. 
You can also make your own wrapping paper by grabbing some of this craft paper in the office section at Dollar Tree. Just cut a piece about the size that you're going to need to wrap your gift and kind of lay it out. It's going to be curly, so something heavy on the corners helps. And then you can decorate it however you want. You can use paint pens and just write a message on the front or the person's name on the front. You can draw a design. You can use cookie cutters as little stamps. Sky is the limit here. Just you can get as fancy or keep it as simple as you want. I just wrote a very simple uh, Merry Christmas on the front of mine in a fancy font. And then just go ahead, wrap up your gift and you have custom wrapping paper. If you haven't done this one yet, it is such a great way to make decor that also matches your Christmas gifts, keeps everything very streamlined. We're going to cut a rectangle out of our wrapping paper to make some cone trees, and it is so easy. You just take some stick glue, run it along one of the edges, and then take the opposite corner edge and start rolling it down towards the opposite corner, making a point at one end and an opening at the other. So just roll it all the way up until you meet that other edge and then use the adhesive to press that edge down hold it tight until it is set up and dried then very carefully you don't want to pinch and make a crease at the bottom but you do want to kind of fold the bottom up so that you can now come in with some scissors and cut the bottom straight this is super easy and affordable. Make sure it is setting straight. If you have any points or anything, you can just go around, cut those off. The great thing about this project is you can cut your wrapping paper down to different sizes and use different styles of wrapping paper to make a matching set. And it looks very custom, but it is so affordable and quick to do. Who doesn't love Mod Podge? I absolutely do. I grabbed one of these wood planks from Dollar Tree, took some brown paint to it, and we're gonna make a really cute custom sign using some wrapping paper. So you're gonna take your wrapping paper, cut it down to size, and then we are going to Mod Podge the wrapping paper onto this wood sign. To do that, we're gonna take our Mod Podge and a foam paintbrush, Dip your brush into the Mod Podge, get a generous amount, and start applying it onto your wood sign. And then we're gonna apply the wrapping paper right on top of this adhesive. Press it down, you wanna make sure to get all the air bubbles out before we move on to the next step. So kind of place it down, work from the middle to the outside to get those air bubbles out and to get it all nice and flat. You can also rub your finger around the edge to make sure that is sticking in there. If not, add some more adhesive where you need it until it's all stuck down. Then you're gonna take your adhesive again, go back over the top of your wrapping paper. You can also use a squeegee to help get out any air bubbles at this point. And then we're gonna let this sit for, I let it sit overnight at least an hour until that adhesive is completely dried though. Then we're gonna rough it up. So this is a sanding block. You can get these at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree in the hardware section. And you're just gonna take that and hand sand around the edges. It's gonna rough up your wood, your paint, and the paper and give it a really pretty look. I'm gonna be adding a vinyl decal to the top of mine, but if you don't have a vinyl machine, grab out a paint pen. I really like to use those when I am creating designs on things. And you can just design your own sign that way. Um, but if you have a vinyl machine, I'm using matte white vinyl here, and this is why I let mine sit overnight to make sure it was completely dry so that the top transfer tape didn't peel off any of the wrapping paper when I went to apply this decal. But totally up to you how you want to do this. This is just a really simple idea. Run with this idea. Create your own holiday wood signs. You can also make gift tags out of your wrapping paper. If you have a vinyl machine, I'm gonna be using my Cricut and the light grip mat to make mine. As this wrapping paper is pretty thin and we wanna make sure it's gonna come off our mat for us. So I just applied the wrapping paper onto the mat, went into my machine, 
and grabbed some random sized and shaped tags and sent it over to my Cricut machine to cut out. Now, if you do not have a Cricut machine, don't ever feel like you have to have a Cricut machine or a vinyl cutter to recreate some of these projects. All you have to do is use your scissors and you can hand cut out your own tags as well. The only thing is with the Cricut machine, I do like that it is super precise and it auto cuts out the circles for you and just looks, you know, nice and finished in the end, but you can get the very similar look by hand cutting these out with scissors and using a hole punch to create the holes yourself. Regardless of how you actually make these gift tags, I highly recommend it. It is going to save you a bundle. These usually get tossed out anyway, so why spend a lot of money on gift tags? This is going to save you a bundle of money. They still look really, really nice, and it's still custom as it's going to match your gift wrap. Gift wrap also looks really great added into picture frames. So this is, of course, a Dollar Tree little sign that I grabbed. I popped the inside out and unfortunately the glass was glued to the inside so I had to tape it off as I wanted to change the color of the frame. You may not want to change the color of your frame so you don't have to do this or maybe your glass pops out and it's not glued in there like mine. So it'll save you a step here. But nonetheless, I went ahead, taped off the glass, repainted the frame to give it more of a custom look and then once it was dried removed that painter's tape and it is cold outside. so here is where that gift wrap comes into play we're going to trace the inside of our frame the decorative piece cut out the wrapping paper to size and use it as a background in this frame so it's already looking super cute, very different from where we started with this frame at the beginning. I'm going to be adding a vinyl decal to the front of mine. If you don't have a vinyl machine, grab out those paint pens and create your own design in white on the front of your glass to get a custom look. Love the way this turns out though. Go crazy. Use your own wrapping paper, use your own designs, and you'll get your own custom look. To have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am home. Now I'm going to show you a really cool contraption. We're going to use some cardstock, some wrapping paper, and this really cool banner punch board that I will link down in the description box below for you. You can make banners for every holiday season, occasion, celebration, and different sizes, which I love. So I'm just kind of sizing it up. You line it up with the lines in the middle of the punch board, pull the top triangle down, and then it comes with this cool little blade that just runs on the outside edge of the triangle and it creates a banner for you so that is just part one of this the cool thing is is now you can grab out your wrapping paper and we're going to make a decorative wrapping paper inset for this so just cut out a little section we're going to scale this down just a little bit from our prior size sandwich it in there on the punch board and take that blade and you're going to run that blade along the paper and it's going to make the perfect size little inset for this banner. Pretty cool, right? It sits right in there perfectly. Now we're going to take some adhesive here and just attach the wrapping paper onto the cardstock. We're going to do several of these to make our banner. And the cool thing about this punch board too is it also comes with a punch at the top. So it makes a little punch for you to then be able to string ribbon or twine or string in there for you to hang your banner pieces. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Now I use some white cardstock and use my Cricut to cut out these letters, but you can also hit the craft store, grab some white letter stickers, and that will work for this too. And then you're just going to string up your banner. And the secret to doing this is to start at the end and work your way to the beginning. Otherwise your banner will read backwards. So I did the word Mary here. So I'm starting with the Y and working my way to the M, like I said, backwards. So super cute. This is an awesome paper project that is super affordable. Again, I will link that punch board down in the description box below for you. But think, of course, Christmas, think birthdays, baby showers, bridal showers, all kinds of fun occasions you can use it for. 
You can also use wrapping paper to decorate these clear ornaments that you can get from Dollar Tree. So we're going to take our wrapping paper here. We're going to cut it down to smaller sizes and then we're going to use a paper trimmer to cut it down into thin little strips. So my strips here are probably about a half an inch wide. You probably don't want them any wider than that. As we're then going to kind of treat them like ribbon and we are going to curl up these little strips of paper. So you're gonna take your scissors, open them up and then kind of gently pull along the blade and it will actually curl your paper up for you. Then I like to take these strips and cut them down into smaller pieces and then just feed them right into the clear ornament until my ornament is full. And then you can leave the ornament as is or you can decorate the ornament too. You can add a decal onto the front or use your paint pens to create a design. Totally up to you and just makes a really fun, simple little ornament. You can also take this idea with the curly cues and make your own little curly bows for the tops of your gifts. Leave me a heart emoji down in the comments below if you are still watching this video to the end. I appreciate it. Also, if you're looking for those gifts in a jar ideas, I'll have that video and thumbnail popping up on your screen. Go ahead, click that, and I will see you over there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a very happy holiday.